welcome untamed soul family and welcome to march taking a nice deep breath it's beautiful to breathe in the light isn't it really i've just lit this candle and this is one of the ways i started meditating i used to have a candle and i would just sit in front of the candle and i would actually watch the flame it's such a beautiful way to start meditation just taking a breath just allowing yourself to connect just watch the flame there we go we're good and the angels say how do you connect with them where do you go what do you do being in nature is perfect obviously you have um, fresh air and your vibration is higher when you're in nature there's a lot of green in nature and it's very healing it's very soothing you have a lot of um, blues in nature which again is another healing color and all the flowers and everything well when it's springtime like it is now you get to you know your heart expands and that how you receive energy is through your heart it's through the expansion of your own heart energy so as your heart opens your vibration within yourself rises and anything beautiful spiritual and angelic can come in much more easier so it depends on where you find it's a good place to go to connect so nature is perfect and the angels are desiring that we connect with them more so because obviously times aren't the easiest at the moment and we're all you know quite often struggling and they would like to be around well they are around us that we're, we don't need to um, create anything for them to be more around us but it's just our awareness of them it's almost like yes they're there but let's call them in a little bit more let's create something sacred that you can say, this is my sacred space. Now, I know for myself, I prefer nature as a connection when I go out in nature, but I also find within your home or wherever you live, or even, even in your work, you know, having some a place that is your little sacred corner, even if it's something that you can visualize just for a few moments. And sometimes if you can't even, you know, obviously set up your workplace with an angel altar. You could take a picture of your angel altar and keep it on your desk or something, you know? I mean, there's many ways to keep your vibration in the right level because vibration, it's it's key to your well-being, you know? It's like if there's been a row in a room and you walk into that house, you can feel it. You can feel the energy of something that's not right. And you always know when people have had a row. So it's about vibration and creating an altar um, as I wrote in the magazine it's not about creating an altar for the angels because they're there anyway this is about creating an altar within you um, within your space your living space because what what we see on the outside is actually like a reflection of what's on the inside and vice versa so your reality your truth is a reflection of what's taking place on the inside so that's what you see externally but likewise if you're staring at something that's ugly and brutal you will bring that vibrational energy energy into yourself so when you create a beautiful altar or you know just a just a space you know it could be a little table in the corner of the room but that you actually intend because intention is so important that you actually intend for this to be your sacred place now and a lot of people love to put up photos of people your loved ones so you know where they are around the house it's only it's something similar to that but creating a beautiful altar or a place where you go where you can sit and meditate and call on the angels um just some ideas what i have on mine i've popped them around me because in actual fact like i say I've, i'm fortunate to have a room so this is where i work and i do my readings and i do my meditations and everything in a room so it's the whole room that's covered with books and crystals and pictures i paint sometimes and i don't paint for to create a masterpiece as i say i create to create uh, paint to create my piece my inner piece but I love painting angels so I do a lot of my paintings then I have my crystals this is um, angelite um, vibrationally it is assist us with connecting with the angel so if you're holding a piece of crystal again it brings your vibration up so it's nice to have a crystal this is um, 
celestite, I think. I could have pronounced that wrong. And then I also have my rose quartz. Again, rose quartz helps to open up your heart energy. And that's what we're always trying to do. Just keep that heart energy flowing and then the angels can flow in and we can communicate with them. And we have, we live a more abundant life when our heart energy is open. So it's all about you and your vibration and everything on, on the external will reflect that back into you. I have got another, I collect feathers. So I've got feathers everywhere that I love to play with. That one's seen better days, but it's been with me such a long time. I'm hanging on to it. Um, I made this one. This is actually a selenite wand that I created and then collected all these beautiful feathers. And I use this when I'm saging, when I'm saging and brushing through my aura to work with the sage. So there you go, you're all feathered up. So it's just brushing through your aura to clear your aura and I collect the feathers and then put them together myself on a piece of crystal. I also have my um, different tools that I use for tune tuning, like um, Tibetan bowls, I've got those all over the place, and tuning forks, this one is for the heart energy. There you go, hopefully you'll hear that. So it works on the heart energy, so you bring your energy into your heart. I also collect um, crystals, uh, crystals, I've said that, I'm repeating myself. I collect shells and I put shells on my altar, my shells are all around me. Stones, I might go to the beach and collect stones. You can also use, you know, like a diffuser, either one of the ones that you can put a candle in, I've got a beautiful one here. So you can put a candle in there and then put the essential oils. Um, in the diffuser. Jasmine's a great favourite for the angels. They love the, uh, it's like a fragrance that they like and they can come through on that vibration. Also rose as well. Rose is a beautiful fragrance to help. Again, you're working with keeping your heart open and allowing the angels to come in. But like I say, it's not about creating an altar for the angels because that's not what you're doing. What you're doing is creating an altar a sacred space that you can um, you know connect so you go to this sacred space and I've found by doing it myself your vibration instantly it's like when I create a sacred space wherever I am even my whole essence knows that's what it's going to have to take place now as soon as i light the candle as soon as i put the incense on my whole system goes into a softer space of oh she's going to do that meditation thing again or she's going to be praying or praying or whatever so it's again like lighting the candle for light and it's like as soon as i light a candle and i start to see a flame my whole system goes oh okay we we know what you're about to do because that's what you find sometimes with meditation it's like the ego mind wants you to be not in this sacred space the ego mind wants to play you know wants to keep you entertained by talking to you so it's about creating a space where you can slip into that sacred space and have that 10 minutes for yourself have that five minutes for yourself just reconnecting I mean, we have so many different things out there that are, you know, distracting us now. There's so many things that stimulate us and it's all about bringing yourself back into your center because when you're in your heart space, when you're connected with your soul light energy and you're calling the angels, you're in a blissful, blissful state. Believe me, you truly are. But we've got so many things. We've got the television, we've got our social medias and all these different things. Our electronics have gone through the roof. So we're always doing something. And it's just about having time, whether you do it once or twice a day or once or twice a week. It's just about bringing you back into your center and your sacred space. So for those of you who may have read the magazine or whether you're, um, whether you already have an altar or whether the, whether you're putting the bits together, but you can come back to this video at any time. But what I wanted to do was to um, work with you today to work through um, bringing the angelic vibration into all of your pieces on your altar and bringing through the light onto your altar today so that, um, or that particular area where you can go to to connect. So, without further ado, creating and setting the intention in this month's meditation that we wish for our altars to be blessed 
and that we wish for our sacred space to be blessed. And you can continue to bless the pieces on your altar or if you're bringing in new things and mi missed one thing out. If you are actually using crystals or different things on your altar, you could also charge them like, um, you know, like to a full moon. You could wash the crystals occasionally, pop them out in sunlight or do double check which crystals you can wash and which ones you can leave out overnight, etc. if that's what you're going to do. But you can put charge them in the moonlight and then bring them back to your altar and re, re um, ignite them if you like. I can't think of the word I'm trying to think. What am I doing? I don't know. Putting light into them, if, yeah? So, taking a nice deep breath. If you find yourself in the space that you've created with your altar, and having all your little pieces on your altar. They could be cards, they could be pictures, figurines, shells, crystals, etc. So, taking a nice deep breath. Giving yourself permission to relax, surrender and let go. moment I'm going to bring the candle in. Just allowing yourself this moment of peace, this moment of light. Taking a nice deep breath and when you feel ready just close your eyes. And as you're breathing in, you're breathing in a beautiful golden light. And as you exhale, you exhale any irritation, any frustration, any fears. Just breathing in a beautiful golden light. And on the exhale, just letting go, surrendering, releasing. This is your moment, this is your time to call your own. Just breathing that beautiful golden light into your lungs and imagine that beautiful golden light expanding into your heart center. Feeling the golden light filling your heart and calling on your heart to open fully now. You feel that beautiful golden light expanding throughout your body. And as the beautiful golden light expands throughout your body, you're given permission for your muscles, your bones to relax. Feeling that beautiful golden light flowing down your torso, down your legs, and flowing out of your feet into earth. Just giving yourself this moment, this perfect moment of peace that you deserve. Feel this golden light expand out of your body, like it's emanating out into your auric field. As this golden light continues to emanate more so out into your energy bodies. Until this beautiful golden light is filling the room and the space that you're in. You may need to open your eyes or maybe you can just put your hands out and reach for the some of the items that you have on your altar. And hold it between your hands towards your heart. 
and you wish and you ask for the angels to bless this sacred item that you have now. Everything vibrates, everything has a heart and you're reaching in now with your heart energy to connect with what you are holding, that you ignite the vibration of love within. Holding your space clear and light around you. Calling on the angels, which I should have done a moment ago, but they were there anyway. Calling on the angels to fill the space around you with their love and their light and their presence. Feel a beautiful sensation of peace as they step in closer around your auric field. Choose now something else from your altar that you may wish that the angels bless with light and love holding it, if it's possible, within your hands to your heart. And just feel the light and love energy entering into whatever it is you're holding. placing this back on your altar, collecting the next thing, holding it between your hands, holding it to your heart, asking the angels to bless and fill this object with love and angelic light now. Continue to breathe softly. You are safe, you are secure. Giving yourself time now to go through each of the items on your altar, holding them and requesting the angels bless them. also just hold your hands above your altar and just allow the vibration of love from your heart to flow down into these beautiful objects that are not animate objects at all everything vibrates you can hold your hands above your altar or space where you are and ask the angels to bless and pour their love and light into this area now, into these beautiful objects, even into the cloth if you've used one, even into the table or space. And we're calling on now the beautiful column of golden light to descend to, through the ethers down into this space where you are right now 
your sacred space. Imagine, feel and sense this beautiful column of golden light that surrounds your sacred space now. Surrounds you and everything within this space. And we ask that this beautiful column of golden light is anchored into the earth. That this space that you've created remains sacred. And each time you return to this beautiful place, this sacred space within your home, that you feel an instant connection with the angels that you deepen your connection with the angels each time you connect with them, each time you come here and sit in contemplation, in prayer, in meditation or journaling, whatever it is that you do in this sacred space, we call on a column of golden light to bless this area fully now. You are blessed, you are sacred, and the angels love you so much. Just call upon them as you step back into this sacred space. Just call on them, invite them into your sacred space whenever you choose. Obviously you can work with your angels constantly. You don't have to be just in this sacred space. You can be walking, you can be washing up, you can be doing the ironing, whatever it is that you want to do and call on the angels, they will always be with you. When you're driving, when you're traveling, whatever you are, whatever you're doing, the angels are with you. But I hope you enjoyed creating this sacred space because I, get, I know I repeat myself when I say it's just about creating that beautiful space externally so that you can step into that beautiful place internally and find a little bit of peace, find a little bit of tranquility and be blessed by the angels and the love and the light that they shower down around you. I'm sorry if you're laughing or smiling, but it's just when I feel the vibrations of these, it brings me so much joy. It's really hard to talk. So I wish you a beautiful, blessed March, and I will see you in April. And if you do have any altars and you'd like to share the pictures, I would be delighted to see your altars. And I will send your altars blessings. Take care. See you soon.